Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a budget with me for the third paycheck from my new job. So I'm super excited yet sad because this week is going to be a very small paycheck than like, well I guess not very small, but a lot smaller than what I'm used to. Um, but I'm excited because this money is going to be what I'm going to be using the first week of I guess me being back at school because I do move in on Monday the 24th um, but with that being said I will just explain a little bit so I have been dipping into my paycheck buffer a lot or my checking account buffer because there are a lot of things that I need for school that just I didn't even budget for or like exceeded the amounts I had but they were like necessities like I needed them so not only have I been dipping in for that reason um, but also for things such as groceries. So you'll see when I budget this week for groceries, it will be only $20, and I know I'm going to spend way more than that. But the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to pull out and see all that money come out, especially because I don't know how much I'm going to spend yet because I do have coupons and different things like that. And since my boyfriend and I work at the grocery store, he has a card where we also get discounts off, like, the grocery store brand items. So... I just wanted to explain that a little bit, but again, this is going to be a smaller paycheck, so these amounts aren't going to be very fun. But to begin, it's going to be paycheck number three, and the income that we will be stuffing is 279 So if you are new here, the amount that I write here is not what I get paid. This is just what I'm stuffing after I take out money for not only a buffer, but just like to have in my savings as well as towards my credit card so different things like that anyway we're gonna go ahead and um, write in the categories for both sinking funds and bills and expenses then I will go ahead and come back to you all okay so now that I have all of the categories written in we're gonna go ahead and go through and write our amounts so if you are new here the categories that are right are the are only the ones that are actually getting stuffed so as you can see um, my drinks envelope toiletries gas um, those aren't getting stuffed this week just because for gas I know I have like $35 left in my wallet so I don't need any there and then drinks I'm just not gonna give myself those three dollars um, and then toiletries I don't need anything right now so Let's go ahead and start with our bills and expenses. So my babe, if you are new here, my boyfriend has an envelope in my wallet where whatever I put in here, he's allowed to spend so that it doesn't come out of my personal envelope. Um, and he also has one for me, so it's not like I'm just giving him money for no reason. Um, next is food. So my food envelope will be getting 40 But to talk about this a little bit, I know I'm probably not going to use all of it since I will be back on campus and there we have meal plans so like I can swipe for food at the dining hall um, and I also have like $250 loaded to my ID automatically that I can use to buy food on campus. So I wouldn't have to use all of my own cash. I can use my school's first and then dip into mine. So that's pretty good because we'll have a lot of rollover. I'm expecting a lot of rollover. Groceries is going to be getting $20. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I know the grocery haul I'll have is going to be a lot more than that. But this is personally what I want to do. And I know that I have the money to cover it comfortably. So I'm fine with that. And again, I have coupons, different things like that to use. Um, so we're going to just pay with 20 cash. And whatever I have over will be on my card or from like food or personal. I'll figure something out. So personal is going to be getting its usual $10. I'm really going to try to push myself to not spend that money just... Because I need to start saving. Like, whenever I see that money there, I spend it because I know it's there when I shouldn't be doing that. Um, next is date night. Date night is just going to be getting $5 since we haven't been using the 10 that I put in there per week. Um, and it doesn't roll over, but we're just going to give it 5 So next is my phone bill. It will just be getting its $20. Um, just because it's a bill, I can't really change the amount that it gets. Next is loan. Loan will be getting $11, and I'm super excited because I start paying towards this in September, um, and then I should be seeing my credit score go up a little higher. So next is debt. You guys haven't seen this one. This is not for my credit card because the money on my credit card or that I charge to it, I have in cash, or I just know I'll be able to pay it off with my checking account. So debt is because my boyfriend is 
thankfully going to front my silhouette as well as printer for my business and reopening my Etsy shop. Um, so before he buys that, I do want to start saving up some money towards it because I know I shouldn't be buying things unless I have the money for it, but he did offer and I know he's excited to get that for me. So I'm going to let him and I'm going to be paying him back, of course. So there's going to be $10 going into there. Um, now let's just go ahead and add all of this up super quickly. So we have the $5 plus $40 for food. 20, 10, 5, 20, 11, and 10. So $121 towards our bills and expenses. So really quick, these pens are from Walmart. I don't think I've linked them. If I can find them, I'll definitely add them to the description um, just in case you guys are curious. Also, thank you to everyone who has reached out to me about wanting to get the paycheck spread when I mentioned to leave your email so many of you guys left them and I'm like that made me so happy that you guys even cared about using my paycheck spreads um, so I hope that they've been working out for you all but anyway let's just go ahead and start with our sinking fund so again these are not going to be very exciting at all um, but beauty beauty car clothing as well as renovation are all just going to get one dollar you'll see in my stuffing that a lot of my envelopes are going to be empty and that's because I made a big deposit since I'm going to college I don't want to just have so much cash in my dorm room because that's not very safe or smart so I decided to go ahead and deposit some of that money so next is going to be wedding and wedding will be receiving five dollars so pets pets will be getting ten I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with them because they will be staying here at the house since I'm not sure how long I will be on campus. Like I have a strong feeling we're going to get kicked out, but I guess we'll see. Um, so they're getting 10. Medical is going to be getting $1. Unfortunately, I had to use medical to help pay for my car, so it's just going to have $1, but we'll build it up pretty quick. And I never use that anyway. It's really just there because I want to help my mom, but I haven't gone to the doctor's office or dentist or anything so it's just gonna get a dollar then car maintenance has to get 10 because again I also drained that since my car came out to $130 I'm not sure if I have told you guys that or not I think I did on Instagram um, but yeah that money's just gone so electronics is also gonna be getting a dollar along with giving emergency is going to be receiving $23 then entertainment is going to be getting its usual one. So one more time, I don't know if I've, I think I mentioned it in my last budget with me or my stuffing video, but a lot of you guys have been really like liking the $1 in sinking funds. This was not my idea at all. It was actually budget with Jenny. So her channel will be linked down below. I know the planning dancer also does it. Um, or Jordan Ruiz as well as I think a couple of other people, but it was not my original idea um, So all credit goes to Jenny. So next is Travel so travel is going to be getting 10 along with my boyfriend's envelope and Christmas Then we have gifts gifts is just going to be getting five because I have a pretty good amount in there and Disney as well as home are also all getting five so yes, my home slash move out is still a priority. However, a lot of the money that we're going to use towards that is the 100 envelope challenge, um, which we've been very excited about doing. So that's why it's getting such a low amount. So next is concerts. Concerts is just getting $1. Then business will be getting 10 because since my giveaway video goes up on Friday, you're going to have at least a week, which is that next Friday, and I'll already be at school and have a second paycheck in so I'm gonna start saving up for the shipping cost that I will have to pay for the giveaway winners so there's the business retirement of course is going to be getting its usual seven so school is getting money allocated towards it and it will be receiving five dollars which isn't a lot but it's still something then 52 weeks is also getting seven and the 100 envelope challenge is getting 27 so what happened this week is we drew envelope number nine. However, 
The little fun rule that we got says if under $10, triple the amount that you stuff. So we do have to stuff 27 this week, which is actually pretty exciting. Just because when we see the envelopes, we're not going to remember the fun rules. So we'll think there's just nine in there, but there's really not. So let's just go ahead and add our sinking fund super quick and I'll total it at the bottom. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, 10, 1, 10, 2, 23, 1, 10, 20, 30, plus 15, plus 1, plus 10, 7, 5, 7, 27. So we have, it says 158 going into sinking funds. I don't think I did that right. Oh, no, yes, I did. Okay, so $158 for our sinking funds. So again, in total, that plus the 121 is the $279 that we did right over here at the top. So with that being said, you guys, that is all of my budget with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. On my phone, I did just get a comment asking about when the shop will be reopened. So my Etsy shop will reopen around some time where I start school because that's where all my machines will be and different things like that and I'll be running it out of my dorm room so I'll definitely keep you guys updated I do want to still sell cash envelopes it's just I feel like with my laminate sheets it gets like fingerprints on it super easily and I don't want to sell something like that to you all so if I decide to it'll be at a very low price I promise you because I know I wouldn't want to pay a lot for something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video.